I get like five to six hours of sleep every night. Um, sometimes I fall asleep in class, but for the most part, I stay awake. I try to get at least eight hours. Uh, like seven hours. Sleep? Uh, probably about like six hours a night. I try, but usually doesn't end up that way. Is that enough for you? No. <laughs> yeah, definitely probably like eight or nine hours would be good. Yeah, I sleep a lot. <laughs> I sleep a lot. Probably four hours, I don't get enough. I get around like three, two hours a night, and I wouldn't say it's enough because I come home every day and sleep for like five hours. <laughs> I get seven hours. An hour. All day. Like six hours. I get like five hours, but that's not enough either. I get eight hours, and it's pretty good because I can function in school and everything. Six, seven hours, and probably not. It's not enough at all. Probably like seven hours. And I, yeah, I think that's enough. I get seven to eight, and I think it's good. Eight hours. Yeah, eight. No. I don't not think it's enough. enough. For school? Yeah, for school, like seven, seven, but like on the weekends, sometimes eight. I get like between four and six usually. And usually I'm tired in the morning, but I'm not, I'm not usually tired when I get home. I get like seven hours sleep at like best sometimes. It's okay, I, I'd like to sleep more though. Probably like eight to nine, that's enough. Like five hours, I think it's enough. I usually sleep around seven and I would love more sleep, that would be amazing, but you know, unless you get school to cut homework, I don't see how that could work. Yeah, it's really important to sleep because you like you can't even function when you're like not sleeping. When you wake up for high school, it's real hard to concentrate during like testing and stuff. So you just get as much sleep as you need. Yeah, sleep helps you pay attention in school and everything and it makes you more awake. Not getting enough sleep can affect your mood and make you feel depressed. It can have an effect on your behavior and your schoolwork. Good nutrition is especially important for teens because of the growth spurt that accompanies adolescence. Exercise is an important facet of health and fitness. It can relieve stress and increase your alertness. Are teenagers getting enough sleep, eating right, and getting enough physical activity? Health and fitness, that's what we'll be talking about today. Hi everyone, I'm Ian. And I'm Beth. And, and this, this is Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. At the beginning of our show, we asked some teens how much sleep they got each night. We'll talk with them again later to see if they eat right and whether they get enough exercise. We will also talk with our studio guests about health and fitness. But first, let's meet our spotlight guest, Katie, and find out if she gets enough sleep. I think it is important to eat right, get enough sleep, and practice a healthy lifestyle because if you don't, you won't have as much energy doing the things you normally do. Like if you don't get enough sleep before a test, like the night before, then your performance on that test is gonna be a lot poorer than if you had gone to bed at a reasonable hour. Um, the amount of sleep I get definitely depends on what's going on in my life. Like with, I was in a play, so I was definitely really tense about that and I would get less sleep because I would stay up to try and like learn the part and all of that. My teachers, most of them understood what we were going through because almost everyone in the eighth grade was a part of this show and we had practices till like five or six every night. And I mean, they would understand and they would try to be lenient with the homework, but still there were those nights where you just got creamed with homework. Like there was one night I remember we were practicing act two at drama. and act two, I did not come off the stage at all, like ever. And normally during drama is when I do my homework and I just didn't have that opportunity. So I was up till about 1.30 to 2.30 that night trying to finish this homework desperately. And I mean, the teachers and all of my friends could tell that I was just out of it the next day. If you don't get enough sleep, then people are going to notice a difference in you. But when you do get enough sleep or you get more than enough, then you're just going to be like, all right, guys, let's go. Come on, let's do it. I definitely think teenagers get enough sleep just because I hear parents of all of my friends complaining that their children get to sleep till like noon or one o'clock in the afternoon in the summer while the parents are up at like, 6 or 7 a.m. You know, Katie's probably right. During the summer, as teens, we probably do get 
more than enough sleep. But I think during the school year, at least for me, I get maybe like six, seven hours of sleep a night between extracurricular activities and play rehearsals and homework. It gets pretty crazy. But let's uh, meet our studio guests and find out what they think. Let's meet them. They are Cora, Anthony, Meredith, Megan, Matt, and Powell. So how much sleep do you guys get, and do you think it's important um, that teenagers get enough sleep? Well, during the school days, I get like, uh, you know, six or seven hours of sleep. When I'm, uh, you know, I oversleep on the weekends, but, you know, I naturally wake up at like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, I have really bad sleep habits because of school. I mean, because you have to wake up so early, it's just my weekends, I wake up, I just wake up thinking that I have to go to school that day, and it's just, it's horrible. I hate I need that. More, I need more sleep. Yeah. It's and sometimes I forget to turn my alarm off, and it goes off at like 6 a.m. on a Saturday, <laughs> and I'm like, ah! And there's some mornings during that. school when you're like, oh my gosh, I just wish I could sleep, but you mm -hmm. can't. I hate that. It's the worst. Oh, I wake up at like 7, 8 on Saturday mornings, I'm like, why did I bother waking up? No one's awake, so you can't talk to anyone. You can't really do anything. Your parents have, at least in my case, my mom works at home, so she's already taken over the computer, can't even go online or anything, and just like, I'm up and I'm tired and I can't go back to sleep. Yeah, I mean, I've had, the, I've had situations where I'd wake up and it was a Wednesday morning and I'd say to myself, do I need to wake up today? And then I think, oh wait, it's Saturday. I can go back to sleep. <laughs> and then I jump out of bed and it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> 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 but how many like hours do you guys think you get a I night think I, during I the think school I year? I think I get about five or six. Um, I think that's what most kids, uh, teens nowadays get, um, just with balancing all the activities that we do. Like you mentioned, that you have a lot. And I think everyone's just so loaded with True. their schedule. Although they say teens are supposed to get, I think, something n 9 to 10 hours a night. Yeah. I yeah, just think right. it's so unrealistic. <laughs> I don't know anyone who gets yeah. that much sleep. It wouldn't you know, be homework's possible. Also, I mean, I wish. Homework's also a big factor in yeah. uh, getting a lot of sleep. I mean, right. sometimes I'm up to like 11, 30, 12 doing homework because I have other things before mm -hmm. I do homework. Example. I made a rule for myself last year and it got to the point where it was like, if it was 11.30 and I wasn't done with my homework, I went to bed anyway because as important as my rebel. Home, well no listen hear me out because as important as my homework is it's also important that like I'm awake enough to function and like be there in class during the school so day I totally have so like I don't know I think it kind of evens out my school nurse one time I had like so many things going on I just wasn't getting enough sleep at all and I finally like I was falling apart I couldn't stay awake in class and they sent me to the nurse because I was actually like making myself sick my nurse was like why don't you get sleep? Homework is not as important and blah, 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 blah. I don't care what's going on. I was like, will you tell that to my teachers, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't fail the class, you know? Yeah, it's rough. Like, I know that a lot of you guys are starting to drive now, so another thing to take into consideration is if you don't get enough sleep, like, sometimes you fall behind, fall asleep behind the wheel. Yeah, that's, my friend that's a pretty that dangerous once. situation. Cool. Pretty dangerous? Well, a very <laughs> dangerous situation. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know anyone who's sleep deprived? Oh, yeah. A lot of people. Uh, I think a lot of yeah. us are sleep deprived. Yeah. But in, in, <laughs> yeah, in, uh, in general, I think, well, you know, if you've got extracurriculars, people who just, you know, they've got so much going on, you can't get enough sleep. This happens to a lot of people. Yeah, it can be hard. Lack of sleep can handicap your immune system and make it difficult to fight off colds or infections. It can even have an impact on your reaction time. Lack of sleep is thought to be a cause of a significant number of car accidents in which teens are involved. Getting enough sleep is just one part of leading a healthy lifestyle. What you eat is extremely important. Do you eat mostly healthy foods or are you a junk food junkie? That's what we ask the teens on the street. Let's check it out. Do you eat healthy foods or are you a junk food junkie? Uh, <laughs> both? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> both. I would have to say both. Yeah. Both. Um, junk food. Junk food. <laughs> Junk food junkie. Junk food junkie. Junk food junkie. Word, word. Junk food junkie, guys. Junk food junkie. Junk food junkie. Um, I like to think I eat healthy foods. Um, I weight lift a lot, so I'm on a lot of protein, and I try to keep down on carbs. Junk food junkie. Junk food. Both. Of course I eat healthy foods, all the time. I am junk food junkie. I'm a junk food junkie, too. Yeah, me too. Healthy. Healthy and junkie. I think try to keep a balance. Because junk food's good to eat, but healthy food's good too. I definitely eat more junk food. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, usually I just read my cabinet, so it's ever in there, which is usually junk food. 
I eat a lot of junk food. Both. Both. <laughs> Both. Yeah. Both. Um, healthy food. Healthy food. I guess a junk food junkie. <laughs> I eat, I eat like half and half. I don't really eat like some of both. Like I like fruit, but I like potato chips too. I eat junk food all day. That's what I live off of. Cheese doodles and McDonald's is my whole diet. I like apples a lot, but I also love junk food. Try to stay away from junk food because you know it puts holes in your teeth and it puts holes in your teeth and uh, you know you get cavities and stuff. So I try to keep everything nice, but I, I eat fruits and vegetables. Healthy foods. Healthy. Um, I try to eat health, healthy food, but sometimes it's just like I have to give in to the junk food, but I I'll watch it. Wow, there were a lot of junk food junkies. I'm not surprised. It can be hard to resist that junk food. I know, but haven't you ever heard the saying, you are what you eat? <laughs> Good food helps you to develop a healthy body and maintain fitness. Although Katie says she splurges once in a while on junk food, for the most part, she eats healthy foods. Let's see what she likes to eat. will eat like vegetables and fruit because they just think that's, you know, it's good food. I mean, I'm a little bit of both. Like for my normal snacks and stuff like that, I'm, I like inhale carrots and celery and like pretzels. And I mean, like that's basically what I eat. But occasionally, you know, everybody gets cravings like Oreos, and when you're in Hershey Park, you definitely have to eat some chocolate. And you just, I really like carbohydrates. I would never be able to cut carbs. Um, potatoes, pastas, bread, all of that. I love it. And then, like, of course, you have to have the meat, you know, the dairy products, all of that. Just got to be balanced. I think that most of my peers are a mix just because... You know, a lot of my friends will eat, like, vegetables and fruit because they just think that's, you know, it's good food. I mean, if it's served to you, you're not going to be really rude and just say, no, I don't want it. But, like, at parties and stuff, yeah, we have chips and we have all that other stuff we're not supposed to eat. Okay, so how many of you guys are junk food junkies? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I try to eat like healthy food because, well, first of all, everyone in my family is really like big on dieting and stuff. So there's nothing in my house that's not low fat, low carb, low sugar, low everything. <laughs> but get me to a store where I see candy, like especially the Lifesaver gummies, and I go crazy. And then I find myself buying like ten dollars worth of junk food that I then eat in one sitting, and it's really bad. Well, my meals are really healthy. Like uh, you know, every every meal has one portion of vegetables, and. Uh, but everything in between that, sort of like, you know, peanut butter, chocolate. <laughs> Love peanut like butter. Oh, yeah. man, peanut yeah. butter, don't get me started. <laughs> I think I'm pretty lucky because I think uh, my mom has taught me pretty good eating habits because she's very healthy, which is good because, you know, I'm going away to school soon and I definitely don't want to gain that freshman 15. So True. lucky for me, I think I know pretty good eating habits and I love vegetables and fruit. So, I mean... Like we said before, everybody splurges once in a while, but I think generally I'm a pretty healthy True. I would say I'm closer to like a health food junkie than a junk food junkie. Yeah. I don't know. People make fun of me. I really enjoy healthy foods. I like Same. like soy chips. And yeah, like exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They're good. <laughs> My parents try and teach me to eat. Like I'm going to admit that they, they taught me how to eat well. It's just a matter of, I don't I just don't follow it. That's <laughs> just me. In how opinion. important do you guys think it is to eat healthy? I think it's very important. Uh, you know, you have to keep a healthy diet in order to stay healthy. And, uh, you know, if you eat too much junk food, you get, like, cavities. And, and you know, when you run, I guess you I guess you like, stop. And also, <laughs> oh, it also helps if you, if you play sports and stuff, just having that healthy diet on top of that. I think also the image that the public shows you that you want to look thin and you want to look healthy, that's also somewhat of a motivator for me to... Yeah, but at the same it. time, I mean, you watch a commercial for, like, I don't know, junk food, it, is, it even is still then, like, right. skinny, beautiful people. <laughs> like, and you're like, how can they eat all that and stay the least, looking like but that? Of course, they're no, probably not eating the junk food. I made a chip commercial with, like, the blonde girl. I was like, 
please. You're, you weigh like 110 <laughs> the, pounds. The Dorito girls, can't. you guys remember those commercials yeah. with her? No way does she eat all those Doritos and stay looking like that. <laughs> I don't buy it. Well, I don't really need to watch my weight. So I eat, you know, I'll eat whatever I want, but you know, I won't go on like a binge and like eat like a whole bunch, you know. I'll, I'll just eat whatever I want. Eat some, you know, responsibly. Responsibly. <laughs> 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 that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so we've talked about sleeping enough and eating right, but what about getting a little exercise? How physically fit are we? How often do teens exercise? Let's see how active the teens we talk to on the street are. I work out a lot too, every morning and whenever I go to sleep. Chilling and stuff. Yeah, swimming. Gym class? <laughs> Only in gym for school. Gym class. I run track and I play field hockey. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I run around the neighborhood. Do <laughs> you exercise regularly? No. Nah. Yes, yeah, well, four times a week, yeah. I do exercise regularly. I feel that if you're in better shape, uh, you'll do better in life. You know, I don't think you have to be an exercise fanatic to stay fit. Yeah, I agree. Just taking your dog on a walk is good physical activity. Let's go back to our interview with Katie and find out what kinds of activities she's involved in that help her to stay in good physical condition. More so, I exercise regularly more so in the school year because I have dance classes during that time. But in the summer, I'm really active for most of it. I'm swimming or biking or just walking or hiking. Just trying to keep up with younger siblings, it's definitely one way. I mean, little kids, they have such energy, it's insane. And if you are a babysitter or something like that, just saying, all right, we're going to do this. Let's do it now. You know, I'll be it, whatever. You're going to have a hard time keeping up with them. And it's just, it'll show. It's just one of those things. And I mean, I have brothers who play soccer. That's like a great way. Like, his calf muscles are like bulging, you know. It's insane. There are so many different ways to stay healthy. I mean, just... Just by saying, hey, mom, I'm going for a walk around my neighborhood, just trying to meet new people, you could cover a mile easily. It's not that hard. Healthy doesn't mean that you're, like, insane about it. Healthy means that you're aware of who you are and you're aware that you might need to eat more nutrients of this or less of this and you're aware and you're trying to do something. You're not just sitting on the couch and you're getting up and doing activities. You don't have to be a health nut to be healthy. I think that God wants us all to be healthy, but I don't think that God wants us all to be like stick thin, perfect bodies, you know, stuff like that. He wants us to be who we are. You know, I think during the school year, it's a lot easier for me, oddly enough, to stay physically fit because I have all my dance classes and like dancing during the musical and all sorts of things like that. And I think for, at least for me, during the summer, it gets a little bit harder because all those activities stop. But I definitely, um, like Katie said, I try and swim laps in the summer. I have a pool in my backyard. So mm -hmm. that's what I do to try and stay physically fit during the summers. Mm -hmm. I go home and like, I don't care if it's like 10 o'clock at night, I put in like all these DVDs, I'll be in there for like an hour, two hours, doing like cardio dance and yoga and all those other girly yeah. exercises, you know. Yeah. Like actual <clears throat> real like guy exercises with like the weights now. <laughs> well during the summer, um, my brother and I, we go mountain biking on this mountain and um, you know, at first it was very like, oh, you're like going uh, up some of the parts and in the mud, you gotta pedal really hard and it takes a lot. But then after a while, you're, you're so used to it and you're so capable of doing it that, you know, you get right through it. It's very yeah, easy. It's, like, I just put myself on a fitness plan. It's just something I need to do because I'm kind of out of shape. <laughs> and, and okay. you know, I, st I started yesterday and I, uh, no, I started two days ago. And I did my sit-up. Yesterday sit was your day off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <I> wish. <laughs> 90 days straight. No, but I did sit-ups for the first time in two months and I started doing them yesterday and I couldn't do one sit up. It's terrible how out of shape I am. But yeah. I think I realize when I don't up. exercise, I always feel more tired. And yeah. when I start exercising, then yeah. I get more energy exactly. and then I feel like exercising more. Like one day when I went running, biking and swimming, oh, wow. it was the best day of my life. Apple on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, well, um, I'm glad that uh, me and my brother Matt go to the to the mountains a lot because in the like he said in the summer we go mountain biking, which is a lot of fun, and uh, in the winter we go skiing. On the so, same mountain. Yeah, on the same mountain. <laughs> so, Skiing's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so um, you know we're. We're really outdoorsy kind of people, so besides, you know, besides being outdoors all the time and having like all that activity, uh, me and my brother just naturally we're really active. Like, uh, I'm the I'm the kid at school who kicks all the doors open and runs in the halls. <laughs> so, so that's Exercising in school, yeah, very much good. Exercise by itself. Like two birds with one stone. What about uh, Meredith Powell? What do you guys do for well, physical activity? Well, I actually um, play tennis about every day. Um, just I'm on the I'm on the tennis team at my school and stuff, and it's just such a great sport. So I, I play that all the time, and also I have a routine with my mom. We go to the gym and work out, and it's it's really good <laughs> exercise for us, and to, it keeps us motivated going together. It's mm -hmm. good yeah. to have a partner. Yeah, it's good to to do it with somebody else because yeah. not only is it more motivating, but it's it's a lot more fun. Right. Like exactly. a lot of some things you can do in school. It's just. I learned, I was listening to a radio one day, and they said some things that help you get extra exercise is say you need to go to the bathroom. Take the one that's farther away. <laughs> or, 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 park, or, or also park. never take the escalator, always take yeah, the stairs. Yeah, always take the yeah, stairs, like or that. park far away and walk longer. <laughs> exactly. It's just like the little things you can do. Yeah. What about you, Powell? What do you do for physical activity? Like me, I know a lot of people go to the gym to do physical activities, but I just can't do it. Like, you know, I go like, like do like 10 benches and it's boring. Like I'm out of there. Ever, people sit there for like half the day, I sit there for like 10 minutes so, <laughs> and I'm out. I'd rather, you know, like, like swim or, or play tennis. That's my favorite thing. At night, like there's no one at the play courts. Play tennis with Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> like some lighted courts, do some serves, play with someone. It's nice. Sounds good. I agree with Katie that God wants us to be healthy, but not to go overboard with it. So do you guys see a link between your lifestyle, your eating habits, your sleeping habits, and um, your faith? Or? See, I think that God isn't like someone who says, all right, you gotta stay physically fit or anything. I just think that uh, you know, God would like to see the best version of you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd like to think You'd like to see mm -hmm. the best, how you get the best out of your life. Right. And also you can probably, yeah, you can be your best when you're in good shape and you're, you have enough energy to do everything you need to do. And I know for myself when I'm running, which I love to do, and I have, you know, it's a beautiful day out and I have good music, I just always think, you know, thank God so much for this beautiful day and the ability to be able to go out and run. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you don't need to be like the guy who can bench the most or lift the most or whatever. You just, you know, as long as you, you're in shape, you know, just as long as you're, you know, the best version you can be. Yeah, as long as you're taking the time out of your day to just make your body feel better and to make you feel better about yourself, because if you feel better about yourself, then yeah. it's always a good state you know, of mind. Exercising and everything else, eating healthy, everything, it, it contributes in the long run too, and I think God wants everyone to have a long, healthy life mm -hmm. and not to have all those problems, you know, heart attacks, clogged arteries, you know, all that stuff. And getting into the habits now will help you later in life. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and being in good physical shape doesn't mean you have to be like, you know, a huge muscle builder. Because most of those guys are on steroids anyway, and that's, <laughs> and that's, that's a bad thing too. <laughs> So as long as you feel good about yourself, you can do stuff, you know. I think that, all that matters. you know, God, also our relationship with God can help us in, you know, how we stay physically fit. Like Meredith was talking about before, how like she goes to the gym with her mom and how it can be motivational to have somebody else to go with and, and spend the time with. Well, you know, you can ask God for the strength. Like maybe you know you need to work out. You like ate a lot yesterday. You really should go for a run, but you're just not feeling like it. Like, there's nothing wrong with saying a quick prayer and being like, please just give me the strength to do this. I know it's what I need to do for myself, for my body. Just like, give me the strength, please. So, I also, I like to use things that just help keep me going, like music. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to rap. I just like the beat of it. And it just helps me, it just helps me move to the beat. And it's just, I don't know, I find it motivating. So that's what mm -hmm. keeps me going. Back to what, like, Beth was saying, I, I use God and faith as just a way to stay focused and to, um, definitely keep motivated and stuff besides having my mom as being my routine partner and stuff um, as going and working out um, but also I use faith as when I'm playing tennis and stuff um, just to keep me in the game keep my mind in the game and stuff and it, it feels good having him out there with me while I'm playing the sport and stuff yeah, yeah. oh go ahead. No, no, go ahead well I was just gonna say like I think also you know God wants us to be happy with who we are and the, and the person that we are and I mean, I know for me, I'm not the skinniest person in the world, but I mean, I used to weigh even more. I lost 
like 25 pounds and I'm so much happier now, so much more comfortable in myself. I can, you know what I mean? God wants us to be happy with who we are. He doesn't want us mm -hmm. to go overboard mm -hmm. and become anorexic or bulimic, but to be happy in life and be able to, you know, connect with others and you have to be, you have to love yourself first and foremost, so. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, I, I battled with my weight a lot. When I was 12, I gained a lot of weight, like a lot of people I'm sure do. And then it took me a while to grow into it. Right. So I was like kind of like the chubby kid in sixth grade. And it wasn't cool because I went to a really athletic school. But, you know, you just have to learn to accept yourself and, in the, and take better care of yourself so you can be happy with who you are. Yep. Yeah. Taking care of ourselves is a way of showing respect for the sacred creation we are. And asking God for help in finding a healthy lifestyle and balance can be very powerful. Start every day with prayer just seeking to make the right choices today. Find a faith partner and support one another. You'll be surprised what you and God can achieve together. Have confidence in the words of St. Paul, I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. There are all kinds of organizations, Christian and non-denominational, that have adopted this method of 12 steps to better health. All of them encourage people to turn to God for help and seek assistance and support from others. Do you get enough sleep and exercise regularly? Do you eat healthy foods or are you a junk food junkie? We want to know. Contact us through our website. The address is www.realfaithtv.com or call us at 609-406-7402. And one final thought. When any part of the body is hurting or neglected, it's an offense against God. By neglecting our health and fitness, we are choosing to be less than the best person God created us to be. In St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Real, Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. God bless.